Hello guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. Today I'm driving this Maruti Suzuki Swift, which looks very simple. No, not much designs on this car. It's very simple and basic. Not even sharp designs on this car. And the design is sort of soft finish. And everywhere it's an soft corners. I mean, uh, curvy corners on this car. Let's open the engine bay. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yes. This is the petrol engine, which you get an insulation for a petrol. This is a 1.2 liter engine bay. is quite compact. Let's close it. Yes. Coming to headlamps. Headlamps are halogen. Indicators are halogen. Fog lamps are halogen. No projector setup. Nothing in this. This is a second generation Swift. You get a silver lining there. And grill is sort of a honeycomb design. Let's off the car first. And you get an LED indicator here. Let's turn off the car. Coming to back. Not much design on this car. It's very simple. Um, and the rear design is a hair like design. But... Um, I definitely don't like this design because it looks something weird. Coming to tail lamp, which is halogen, everything is halogen, indicators, reverse light, everything is halogen. This is a rare fog lamp, and you get tan strip light, and antenna is normal antenna, it's not a shark fin. And coming to side, everything is very simple a normal swift design language and rims are steel rims which is a 14 inch and there's a cover on it it's not an alloy let's open the boot I have to open boot from here let's open the boot boot is very small not much space and you doesn't get even a light placement in this boot is very small you get an hook here a single hook there's not much thing to tell about even you doesn't get a parcel tray or the owner has removed it i don't know the spare wheel is 14 inch which is an steel rim doesn't get an alloy let's get into rear compartment coming to rear compartment you get you get an cup holder which you can keep a bottle and small stuff here this is to hold the door for opening or close here is sort of a fabric finish and the on touch up down window only come for the driver not for the co-passenger or the passenger this is to open the door which is finished in chrome looks quite beautiful and seats are leathered you get a two twin headrest it doesn't get a third one and this seat splits in 60 40 and not an wide cabin uh, i guess three can't sit comfortable only two can sit comfortably you have a hump there it doesn't get an ac at the rear you get single light placement for the whole cabin and there's no hook there's only the handle and here only handle and me sitting 5.8 inch I'm quite comfortable back, the longer person sits at the front, bitten and comfy for the rear passengers, under thigh support is very good and knee room, leg room is average, not much about this car and you doesn't get an adjustable, height adjustable for the seat belts, let's get into front, coming on to front, yes, the cup holders are very nice and which is big enough and this is the button for the mirrors i mean the rear mirrors and this is to open or close the mirrors yes and these are the window controls let me start the car yes you have bit of vibrations here and there on the handbrake on the gear lever and on the steering this car is not much refined but refinement by Maruti could have been better. You have more hard plastics in the car, and uh, here and there, there are the panel gaps in this car. Let me close the door. Yes, these are the 
controls where this is to adjust the headlight and this is for the fog lamp i guess and this is for the alarm and this is the dummy one and you get place here to keep some stuff and aces are nicely placed AC is nicely placed at the center and this is a button for the hazard light and this is the dummy one you get a silver finish around the AC and there is an AC which is very nicely placed and infotainment system not much in this infotainment system just you get an FM let me turn it off and you get a CD player here and these are the AC controls and this is a 12V charger and you get an aux and get a single locks and single USB in this here is a small cubby holder and here is a space to keep some stuff and this is a gear level this is a 1.2 liter petrol engine which gets a 5 speed gear box and no space to keep any stuff very poor in features of this car you get a handbrake a chrome finish on the handbrake and this is for the seat belts Seats are quite average at the front, not so comfortable. Definitely gonna get a back pain while riding for the long driving time. And this is the place um, you can't keep much, just you can keep a phone like this in a horizontal thing like that. And here's a silver finish from here to here, which looks very nice. And you have a cup holder, which is very nice and the glove box is not cooled an average size glove box you can see the hook fit and finish could be good but everywhere hard plastics here and there coming to instrument cluster this is for the engine temperature and this is for the um, fuel gauge and this is a tachometer and this is the speedometer you get delta lights here here and here filled with delta lights and instrument cluster is not much it's very small you get indicators there here you can see and this shows the range of kilometers how much you can drive and this is the odometer and you get a time placement you get twin trip meters trip a and trip b this is not an auto dimming it's a manual thing and sunblind which has a ticket holder for the driver's side and for the co-passenger side you have a mirror there without light placement you get a handle here you can see yes it doesn't get a handle for the driver's side mirrors are nicely placed visible visibility is very good on the mirrors and nothing much to talk about this car i'll talk i'll talk about drivability and uh, about engine while driving let's get driving let's start the engine here it goes to life let's close all the windows putting on the first gear yes here we go yes this 1.2 liter engine which produces 83 bhp and 113 nm of torque which is a beautiful engine but gets vocal about 2000 rpm but really the pickup is absolutely beautiful in this car and suspension is very good but uh, there are many vibrations on the steering on the gear lever let me turn on the hazards i love that engine sound i love to rev this motor which is absolutely mind blowing what a motor the motor is very beautiful and steering feels very handy steering gives more confidence on highways and even these small roads steering is very nice on this let me take a you Turn. but this doesn't get a reverse camera or sensors you have to do everything manually by looking back front mirrors everywhere steering gives a good confidence good confidence on the road and 
you got the pickup is very nice on this car the talk that the amount of talk this car produces is brilliant it's mind blowing to down shift on this car really brakes are really good on this car this motor is absolutely mind blowing really this car is fun to drive it, perfor it performs well at the corners also look at the amount of torque I love to down shift on this car. Look at the amount of torque it produces. Okay guys, thank you for watching my vlog. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that bell icon.